What's the last thing that you purchased? Do you pay with cash or with card? And last question, do you still have the receipt? All of this is important for the brand new commerce conversation that we're gonna have right now. First, remember that NVIDIA is working on creating a digital copy of the world. And when it's done, everything that you see, that you wear, and possibly also what you eat, will have a digital copy. It kind of already works this way, actually. Everything that you see around has a record when it was produced. It's just not shared with everyone, nor we can use it on the general internet, on chain. The two topics that I want to highlight from the conference are one, the power of on-chain commerce, and two, the future of retail in the age of blockchain and AI. And what I learned from these conversations was that when commerce is frictionless, it's most enjoyable. You want something and you buy it, done. But when you try to buy something and it just takes very long, then you lose interest very quickly. I also learned that brands need to acknowledge that people want community, not just to be sold products. And this is well known in the marketing industry, so that's why you see much money put into creating stories and beautiful commercials and things that impact you. But that is just not working anymore, especially in a world where most of us spend so much time online where we see many other options. Brands need to acknowledge that people are loyal, but also to many other products as well, and that our attention is limited, therefore truly valuable. Vivian Shang talk about luxury fashion and this problem with reselling items like jewelry, hot couture, and historic items through auction houses. That these items get resold for so much more money and the original creators don't get any money from those sales. But why should they get any money? It's like a tax. Every time someone resells it, then they get a cut? I don't want to buy it then. But what if you do want to buy it regardless? Because you really like that watch, that jacket, that collection item. Now, what if you decide to sell it and the person that you sell it to sells it again and then you get a portion of that money? Now it makes sense, right? Finally, let's talk about how this will be possible, not now, but it's predicted that in 10 years, the market for this new world of physical items on the internet, on the blockchain, on chain will reach 16 trillion dollars and platforms like boson and fermion are building the infrastructure for this new commerce to work remember my tote bag it has a digital copy on the internet so i own both the physical and the digital version but what about everything else that i own can everything really have a digital copy of course, and once it does, you will see the importance of protecting your digital assets and your digital identity. You will see the importance of having a place of commerce where everyone is invited to join and to contribute. You already buy things online and get them delivered to your house, so it's really not that different. This technology will quietly get implemented and before you know it, you will to be chronically online. See you tomorrow to talk about brand new marketing.